This banner was made in 1925 for the London Jewish Bakers Union. The union was set up to fight for better working conditions for Jewish bakers. And it was the longest lived Jewish trade union. It closed in 1970. The trade union was unhappy about how the bakers were treated by their employers. They often worked too many hours for very little money in dangerous conditions. Some bakers worked for 27 hours in one stretch. The bakers were mostly immigrants living in the East End and were very poor. This stunning object reminded shoppers to only buy bread with the union label as it guaranteed that the bread was baked under acceptable working conditions. The banner also communicated to the public what the union stood for, an eight-hour working day and the abolition of night shifts. If you look closely at the object, you can see many references to the baking trade. We have the wheat bells on the right, we have the baker himself with a paddle, we have the oven, also the two breads on either side of the men. And we have the word bread, we have the word bakers in the banner. You can also see a text coming through from the back. The banner was actually made to be seen on the front as well as on the reverse. On the front, the text is in English, but on the reverse of the banner, there is only Yiddish. Yiddish is a language that was spoken by Jews in Eastern Europe and which both Jewish immigrants knew. This is an early example of labeling food that is fairly traded. The idea is still around today though, and you can see labels on bananas, coffee and tea. They indicate that the people who produce this food are treated fairly and that they work in a safe environment.